Shots up, no good. Rebound controlled inside by Carlson. The freshman wants to run it out, feeding off. Transition, down, glass, good. Count the basket down to Mia Williams for the to Carlson. Carlson feeds it down to Cook, left side. She'll look to go in the layup. Brick there on defense, and the shot does fall in there for Cook. Uh, Bra uh, Bluff is up 4-2 in this thing with 341. This is a good opportunity to learn here in the Lanier land. They go to Shiloh. She works left side. Goes inside. Great move that time up and under the defense. She scooped up under. Just kissed it off the glass to tie this thing up. Just to trigger it in into Shiloh. Tipped around. Good defense that time by Carlson. Carlson Works between two Flyer Branch players. Looks, comes up the give and go right side. Good off transition. Score that basket to Audrey Graham, another freshman. Taking it off the right side to give Bluff a 6-4 lead. And Courtney will say, get tighter on this defense. They rotate in the corner. Chiarte for three. Good for the Bluff. It's now a 9-4 lead, a 5-0 run right now for the Bluff. One of the things I've noticed with Branch is they go inside to Bella, and that, that's good. They get a basket on the inside to make it a 9-6 game. Scott looks a little jump step. T great take to the basket. Come up short on the shot. Rebound inside by Williams out to Carlson. Carlson wants to run. Working left side. Layup is good for Carlson. That's a really good take, and, and Flowery Branch slow getting back on defense again. Tamplin gets it into Brick. Brick fires a long three. There it is. Hits a long three to make this a 19, uh, 13 to nine game. Here comes Tamplin. Tamplin slows it down, gets it over to Randolph. Look, tries to go inside to White. White got a quick shot off and it rolls in there. Good for hey, White. The full court pressure that time. And Cook falls down. Good save that time by Cangelosi. A chance to tie here. Tamplin brings it down, lost the ball. Ball is all over the place. Cook looks down floor to a player and off transition to floors. Picks it back over to uh, <laughs> Carlson, and she's fouled with a plus one coming. Randolph didn't know what she did. And she'll work off Randolph's screen. Drives into the box, a little running. Jumper, good off the glass to make it back a two-point game. Branch, you feel like if they can ever tie this thing up, might get on a run. To DeMars going back inside. Shot is good. Count it with a good slice to the basket by Audrey Graham. Branch, both teams with three fouls. Taken away by Randolph on the bad pass. She'll come down. She'll feed it over to Brick. Brick sets for a three. Good! She hits a three. Bella Brick nails one to make this a one-point game. Close as it's been. 20 on the shot clock. Brick comes around top of the key. Back over to Scott. Scott will penetrate into the paint. Shots up. Good! Branches back on top for the first time since they led 2-0. It's 20 to 19. About it kicks it back out to Tampa. And over to Scott. Scott for three. Good! Big run here for Flyer Branch to build their largest lead at four. Tampa at the front. Pushes her back inside. Carlson, long three. Good. That's a one-point game. 23-22. Eight seconds over to Brick with seven. She'll work down. Had a chance at the end of the first quarter. Three seconds. Two. Long three. I think Cook got her hand on that. And that will be the end of your first half. What a game we have. We expected it by Randolph. Williams look on the give and go to Carlson in traffic. Good take. And it's Bluff back on top by one. Um, as she slaps it into the hands of Cook. Cook sends it over, and she take, uh, take, it's taken away by Randolph off transition. Shallow left side, good. Good penetration over there and a good pass. Over to Carlson, working off the screen. Blo uh, check that Bella Rick adjust together. And a three ball that time by Chiarte. That's her second. Pushes the lead up to two. Over to Randolph. Randolph looking, assesses the floor over to Cangelosi. Inside to Shallow. Shallow spins in the paint. Oh, great move. Oh, to the glass. She looked her off inside and went outside. Left-handed shot. Good. Brick will work into the paint. Little running jumper. No good. Rebound. Tamplin puts it back up. No good. Rebound fought for. Coming out of the pile. And here comes Bluff. Bluff down to DeMars. Comes up left side. A little hook and a foul. And she's going to the line for a plus one. Coming off transition. Over to Carlson, off transition. Carlson works down into the paint. Oh, hesitation move, goes up too strong off the glass. Williams over the back for the putback. They could have gotten Williams for over the back yeah. call, like you said. But Cook dribbles in, into the paint, into the corner. Chiarte, long two ball, good. You cannot leave Chiarte open. She can shoot the basketball. Bluff gets a final look over the long three ball. Hit it at the buzzer. Count it. Who was it? That was number five. Reynolds. Reynolds. And the score is back up to seven, 41-34. We'll be back with the final quarter. Great ball player, fun to watch. And she looks inside and sees Williams. Williams with a turnaround jumper, good underneath. And there's Carlson seeing her breaking open. This kid has got great eyes on the floor. Yep. And a timeout is going to be called by 
The branch for this one gets out of hand here, 47-34, 13-point lead. Bella steps back for a three ball. In and out and in. Good. Branch needed that. Second shot is up, and it is also good. Back up to an eight-point difference, 56-48. It has been a heck of a ball game here in the first game to open up the 63rd annual Lanierland tournament with five seconds. Scott will dribble this out and will not take a last shot here. And that will be your ball game, 56 points. For Cherokee Bluff, 48 for Flyer Branch. Bluff will advance. We'll talk about those brackets after we take this two-minute break. To Kaywana Curry getting the ball across for East Hall. Curry down the lane. Nice little move. One-two step, and the floater bounces in good. And the first points of the contest go to the sophomore guard for the Vikings. Head into the game, Aliyah Harrison breaking backcourt pressure. Gets around a defender into the lane. Layup goes good. East Hall up 4 nothing early. White on the left side. White's got space for a three. She's not taking it. Now here's Young. Driving, little step back two, got it. Finally, Kalani Young gets one of those pull-up jumpers to fall to Kedra Young. Young now dribbling left, getting into the lane, stops, pops, defender all over, and she knocks it down anyway to tie the game up at four. City Vikings gets it ahead. Here's Curry streaking into the front court now, driving down the lane, tough shot, banks around it in good. Kalana Curry, a nice little push shot. And Harrison gets between two defenders, kicks it outside, bursts a three from the right corner, and it rolls out. East Hall right there, though, for the rebound, and the putback is good. I believe that's Megan Jeanette. We don't. Off 21 seconds. Here comes Young, step back, two-point jumper. Good. Kedra Young with a nice shot to tie the ball game up at eight. 14 seconds to go, and the clock is running. We'll see if Eastall can get a shot off here. Here's Callie Dale. Ball poked away by Young. Zaria Williams has it. Back outside, Young for three, and the lead. Got it. Kedra Young with a big shot, and the clock's going to expire on the quarter. So Gainesville rallies from four down with a big run right at the end of the quarter to take a three-point lead, 11-8. to eight. We might get a five-second call here. They just get it off, and yeah, Kiki right. Jones steals it and races down for an easy right-handed layup. Trap, Harrison gets into the front court, gets into the lane, kicks it outside. Burst going to try a quick three-pointer, and it's good. Big shot that time from Amari Burst, the sophomore, to break the run, and it's 13-11, to 11, Gainesville up by two. We saw East Hall with a lot of driving earlier in the game. Now we're starting to see him kick it out of the three-point line. Kalani Young going to try a three the other way, and she got it. Kalani Young with the three-pointer on the left wing answers right back. Well, I, I say let's just jump it up. Here's a little fall-away <laughs> jumper by Kedra Young, and she got it to go. Control of this game a little bit. Here's Zaria Williams. She's just going to fire a three ball and banked it oh in. My. Do you think she called it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Timeout, Justin Wheeler and East Hall as this one's starting to get away from him. 20 to 11 now, the lead for Gainesville with 6.19 to go in the half. And that might have been on Zaria Williams, which is why the number might not have changed. Here's a quick three for East Hall, and it's good for a, for Kalana Curry, excuse me. Side to Curry, Curry fakes out a defender. Shot blocked by Kalana Young. Young had to jump two or three times to block that one, but she did. Now she's going to try a deep two pointer in transition and got it to go right from the top of the key. Jones. Jones kicks it out over on the right side. Julia Payne, I think that's a two-pointer. It's good. And let's see, they call it a three ball for Julia Payne in the right corner. Payne getting it outside here on the left side. Ball tipped away, and it's loose in the floor. Payne gets it for Gainesville. Now she hands it off to Teasley. Teasley down low, and a layup is no good. Rebound taken by Gainesville, and it's put up and in good by Dre Maddox. Backcourt pressure on, but Williams gets it up ahead to Payne. Payne tries to whip it inside, and boy, Maddox caught it and laid it off beautifully. Oh, my word, how did she get it off to Maddie White for the layup? Wide open for three, and it won't go. Rebound tipped around up in the air. Zaria Williams has it with 40 seconds. Look ahead pass, Kiki Jones wide open. Layup is good with the right hand. Then a dominant second quarter by Gainesville. They hit the big three right at the end of the first quarter to take the lead going into the second, and then they explode with a massive second quarter to take a 37 to 18 lead over East Hall into the locker room. 20 side, skips it across, gonna go backcourt. Now it's stolen away, Bull, Bull. She'll take it left, left-handed layup, count it for her. Start the game, another steal. Now it's stolen back away. We'll drive in as Bogney, we'll take the shot. It's good. Right off the block, glass, it rims out, no good. Ball's knocked around, pulled in by Corbin, though. Lakeview still has it. Dynasty in the corner for three. Will they go? Nothing but net for Dynasty Putnam. Lead here for Chester T. Driving in, now at the top to Yarbrough. She'll pull the shot, good. That 16-footer there. Now for the War Eagles, takes it right, just inside three, right side of the key, count it for Riley Black. And Dynasty Putnam with the ball now for Lakeview. Drives down, throws it up, good. What a shot by her coach. It's Back behind her back, 
Now spins again, shot, good. The trigger doesn't go, front of the iron. Ball knocked around, pulled in by Testa T. They'll push up with Cable. Cable going to drive, jump stop, glass, count it for 1914. Bluff leading, now check that, Testa T leading Lakeview. We are at Cherokee Bluff, and Lakeview comes out of the quarter break for the basketball. So shift it around, take a three, it's good. Now it's a two. They sure are going to will that one in for him. It didn't go, but Chesterty with the offensive board. Here's another three-point try. Count it for Caroline Bull. Johnny C crosses over in the paint, takes a shot, doesn't go. Air ball, rebound underneath is good, and the putback goes for Bogney. For pressure, Corbin bringing it into the front court now with the Addison Boy. Now stolen away. That's still by Brianna Williams. She'll go up left-handed. Count it for her. Pull up. Kick it up top there to Cable. Three-point try coming. Yarbrough count it. Last doesn't go. Gaither with a rebound. Kicks it out in the corner. Tharper for three. Good. Count it for Tharper. Boyd gets it across to Cable. Cable will dribble in and will go up and under and take the shot. Somehow, Coach, got it to fall. He's practiced for a couple days. That's boxing out because they've done a great job with that today. Bulls drive. Wow, high off the glass. Score it. And is fouled by Corbin. Corbin back up top there to Nevins. Nevins drives left. Lob over top to Gaither. Gaither scores it off the glass. One and a half to go. It's 50-38. Chesty leads Black with the ball. Riley will drive right. Pulls up on the right block down. Needs help. No, she spin moves. Takes a shot. No good. Rebound Cable. Cable had it. Pulls it away and kicks it back out. Bull for three. Left wing. Doesn't go. Rebound. Knocked around. Kicked around. And Putman with a rebound. So Lakeview will bring it up court with 1-12 to go. That's Donnie C with the ball left wing and ties it up there, but rips it away from Black. Last officiating crew quick to call the jump balls. This one not so quick. Thopper with the ball, bounced around, stolen away. Pulled in by Blakely Boyd. Blakely going to push up right side of the floor. Goes up off the glass, missed a shot. Rebound, Bull, put back, count it to Caroline Bull. Sin comes away with it. Three on two break for the Lady Trojans. Kick over to Peach. Peach going to fire a three. She's fouled, hit the bucket, and one. Well, Kind of on cue there, as we said. Ball gives it up to Martha V. Martha looking over for Athena. Athena inside. Nice pass underneath, but it's blocked. Offensive rebound and a putback for Genesis Satterfield. It's 8-0 North Hall. She got her own offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Peach. Right wing three on the way is good for Christina Peach. She's got nine of the 13, and it's 13-0 North Hall. Bonus the next whistle. Peach, three, corner on the left side. It rattles in. Christina Peach having a night 12 of the 15. It's 15 nothing. She's three for four from three. Sorry, 16 nothing. Excuse me, I can't even do math. Here's Shoemaker after the steal. Shoemaker gives it up to Christina Peach. Try it again. Yes, sir. Seth Chapman putting all those in the highlight reel. It's 19 nothing. Found a way to get to the basketball first. Satterfield kicks it out. Open three on the way from the left side is good. A raindrop three. That time by, I believe that's Carly Bowen, and it is. I would say so far he's he's good on that. Turnover as Martha got the steal. It's outlet pass to Athena. Athena right-handed layup high off the glass. It's good. Back to Peach. Peach, one dribble, now goes behind the back, drives the right side. Nice pass underneath to Genesis Satterfield, who knocks it home for two. Not if Northall decides to. Down low to Satterfield, left wide open underneath, and she easily lays it in. She's got six. On the right wing, gets into the paint, kicks it out to Martha. Three-pointer is blocked by Jemiah Maddox. Doing it all on the defensive end is Jemiah. And for Riley Thompson, finds Peach up top. She's open for three, it's short. Offensive rebound for Lexi Gerard, who lays it in. Court between the circles over the Cherokee Bluff Bear. Into the corner, three-pointer. Michaela Walden knocks it home, her first three of the night. That's what Coach Herrick said he wanted to see was better shooting from his team. A runner, and in there for Summer Orlick as she Hit the runner from the free throw line. To Michaela Walden. Walden back to Peach on the left wing. High post to Shoemaker. Shoemaker kicks it out. Three on the way for Lexi Gerard. That hits the bottom of the net. They can work offense looking for the last shot. They get it to the high post. Lisa Osos-Kalo with the free throw line jumper is good. Makes it 39 to four.